Hi, I'm Paul Harvey, editor of MIT, and I'm here at The Meeting Show with Jenny Waller, who's the head of sales of The Barbican. Hello. Hello. Welcome along to TMS TV. It's fantastic to have you here. Thank you, you having a good much. show so far? So far, so good. It's really busy this year again. Yeah, no, it's lovely to see. Always yeah. brilliant, nice and busy out there on the aisles. Um, I wanted to chat to you today about The Barbican's bit of research that you've done mm -hmm. about arts and culture and corporate events. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just wondering if you can tell us a bit about that. Of course. So um, earlier on in the year, it became quite apparent to us how our corporate clients were really wanting to create those memories and um, kind of drive registration and attendee and engagement during events. And what the Barbican is able to offer as part of being a culture and art centre is being able to adapt what we offer to kind of meet that need and really creating those unique experiences for, the for their delegates. Mm. Absolutely. I mean, I guess that's your kind of uh, stock in trade, isn't it? It is, it is. I hate the term USP, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, I've seen so many amazing things at the Barbican over the years. And so kind of you can take some of that magic of the arts and culture and put it into your events is that the idea yeah so we have we you know we obviously have the the concert halls the amazing theater programs and the visual arts we've got the exhibitions and the two galleries and we're able to do it in the case of group tickets or um talks with the arts curators private views but we also have the other element of the barbican which is our architecture which is again another usp for the barbican yeah, absolutely. Um, and we do bespoke tours again during different types of events so we're able to flex and adapt depending on usually the industry of the client and also time that they have available <laughs> yeah so the survey that you did it, it it seemed to suggest that um corporate events kind of benefit from having a bit of arts and culture in them uh, was that was that what the result so yes. The survey said. Yeah. So the survey said. Um, so it was actually, seventy-seven percent of the people that responded said that they do choose a venue based on their arts and culture, and felt that it was an important factor when deciding, not only for the destination but for the, the venue that they decide to go to. Yeah. Um, and of those, sixty-one percent actually said that uh, you know, as part of the arts and culture, it drove registration, but also um, increased engagement with their delegates as well. So really important factors when they are creating these memorable events and you know wanting to drive that experience absolutely and um, I guess that was music to your ears then wasn't it it was <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, it's really important as well because um, I mean arts and culture over the last few years um, it's kind of been hit, hit by kind of like funding because mm -hmm. obviously there's been less money around but mm -hmm. I guess kind of what we're saying is that the the more funding you put into arts and culture, the it benefits the events industry as well. Is that right? Certainly. So there is certainly, you know, the more the more more focus that we can drive towards arts and culture, that we can then benefit within the commercial world and within b uh, business events as well. And you know, we, we're kind of benefiting benefiting off each other a little bit of that as well. So you know, we're creating, uh, we're obviously driving revenue in terms of bringing people together for business events and having those important conversations and that B2B aspect of it, but then being able to explore the horizons slightly and then, you know, incorporating the arts and culture aspect as well. Mm, absolutely. And um, I should just say I was at the Barbican last year and I went to see uh, My Neighbour Totoro. <gasps> One of my favourite shows in the whole entire world. I nearly cried. <laughs> I, I, yeah, no, me and my entire family did weep buckets. Yes. It. it was. It's incredible. It was it an is. absolutely incredible yeah, show. Yeah, it is. I'm just wondering, can you get to Totoro to appear as part of your business event? Is that or is that not? available uh, well it's, <laughs> do you know what last year was their final year with us very yeah. unfortunately this summer though we have kiss me kate with adrian dunbar oh yeah no i've seen the posters for that yep. so line he of is, duty yeah, line of duty he's singing but, he's yeah, dancing yeah, yeah. you know you've got the works there with adrian and he can you know we do private backstage tours um occasional meet and greets depending on the cast but yeah there's a there's definitely the opportunity to kind of bring that sparkle and glamour and magic that we do with our, especially within our theatre within the uh, business events as well so he's not going after Ben coppers he's going after kind of he's doing kind of lot big kind of song and dance numbers yes yes change of career path i think <laughs> <Yeah>. yes <laughs> but that sh that sounds like it's going to be a great show yeah it's incredible i'm yeah it's incredible we've had really great reviews it only opened a couple of weeks ago so we'll be here throughout the summer fantastic um 
And so in terms of the business events offer at the Barbican, is there anything new you can tell us about? Um, so we're always trying to kind of expand and create create new um, ways to kind of diversify our offer. Obviously, our bread and butter is with the meetings and events, but we are able to bring on um, some of the great professionals that work within the centre. So we have a team of five gardeners who look after the conservatory and the wider estate gardens as well. And, they, you know, we, we can arrange tours or talks with the head gardener to really kind of get to the you know the the grit of the conservatory and wow. talk about some of the the that plants in there amazing, isn't yeah it? yeah thank you yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, we do like it yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah we're able to bring on those professionals and the experience and you know get them into the business events world yeah absolutely all right, Jenny. Well, thank you very much for joining me and sharing everything about the Barbican. It's uh, great to hear about. Can't wait to get back to the venue soon. Yes, thank you very much. All right, cheers.